Okay, Jeff, so things are like in your, in your setup of the following. Club head is squared up behind the ball, no problems there. Club and ball are in the middle of your stance, and for middle length iron, it's also good. Uh, stance, you're about shoulder width with your feet, perfect. And pretty good posture, and your alignment of your body as far as your feet and hips are lined up complementary to where the club face is positioned. A couple little things, that shaft angle is too raised up. You can see your arm is actually away from your body. You want to lower the angle of the golf club so it's positioned maybe just below your waist so your arms hang more below your shoulders naturally. And you want really that right arm to be actually almost tucked into your body. So if you say looking at yourself at a mirror at home, the side version of your setup, you want to be able to say, see that leading left forearm like you can see with me to the right of you. And this one's tucked in and the arms hang down as opposed to being locked and raised, right? So just making sure of that. And then on a regular basis, try to make sure you have your chin up a little bit. You tend to hunch your back forward because your head's tucked in. You can actually have your chin out or up and still view the ball as long as you remain balanced. It's almost verification of that. So you're solidly set, right? So it's a couple different setup preps to be aware of. In your swing, let's watch the takeaway. You can see on the takeaway, the club's here. The club's going to move out yeah. or away. By having that tension there, you know, you're going to go this way first and then hitch it up. So the club goes out. Then you pick it up, fold that right elbow in. Your arms rise up. And about there is where you stop. If you go back a little further on, it's about, it's about there, right? That's ideally where you'd want to stop. So if you got the club down in a more relaxed, neutral position, are able to take the club straight back from the ball with your shoulders, you want to have it set and have width to your swing, you got to go out, around, and then collapse, right? So right now, watch, the rest of it just collapse, which means you get to there and you watch your wrists and arms just drop, right? Yeah. So by collapsing, and now you got to throw the club forward. So there's that casting in front of your body type of downward motion. And you're steering the club back onto the ball. And you time this one pretty well to get at it and turn through it. But that's what I mean about the rerouting and maneuvering of the club. So if we can eliminate all those moving parts to your swing and get things to stabilize, they'll repeat more that would be a lot easier process to have happen then. Okay? So there's a couple things at least that you could look at.